Welcome to a new video in the Fusion Electronics Dive In series. Today I would like to show you how to define a slotted hole. So here you see I am in the library editor in the footprint editor. I have placed one SMD but um, now I need a slotted hole and there are two options I would like to show you. The first one is you simply use an SMD pad as a basis I use it 7 by 4 millimeters, just a value uh, I think makes sense. And now I have it here. I'm, let me move it 90 degrees and then place it. So I have the SMD placed on the top layer. And I also want to have an SMD on the bottom layer because I want to have copper and on top and bottom. And then I want to define the slot. So I simply change the layer, go to 16 bottom and place the same SMD on the same position. So we have two SMDs on the same coordinates, but in different layers. And now we have to define the slotted hole. You know, electronics only know holes, yeah, round holes, so to say. Um, but um, usually slotted holes are milled, and therefore I will draw a wire or a line in the milling layer. So I go to create, choose the line command. Now I can draw lines and I change the layer to 46 milling. And the next step is this side of line width. Okay, 0.1 millimeter, that's okay. Now I don't care about the, the sizes, just start here and draw something like this. Oh yes, I don't want to have a radius, I want to have it in rectangle shape. So I go down just it looks like this and close the contour double click and now I've defined the slotted hole that's it now the contour is closed and I would like to have a radius as I said and therefore I use the mitre tool I choose the round option and give it a radius let's say half a millimeter click here let me check there is half a millimeter and then I click onto the edges here. Well, that's it. And now we have a slotted hole or a slot on copper in top and bottom. Think about inner layers. If you need multi-layer boards, then you have to think about the inner layers and possibly add some more copper in layer 2 or 15, whatever you want to use. Another option would be not to use a, two SMDs, but to use a through-hole pad. So if I take this one, for example, and let me choose, yeah, a long one, let me rotate it and decide about the size, let's say about three or four millimeter. I want to have four millimeters, for example, and key. now you see it changed. And of course it would be the same way. Now I place the pad and I could also start and draw the milling contour in layer 46. So I click on create or on the line tool, zoom in and start drawing my um, milling contour. Here you see we have the radius of half a millimeter. I don't like to have it this time, so I switch it back. So it should be zero because it's a rectangle slot. And I go down here, take care that the original drilling hole is inside your contour, double click and it's closed. So, yeah, that would be the second option. In this case, you have copper, the big green area on top and bottom. You have this, the slot and you also have some copper in the inner layers because pads go through all signal layers. In the inner layers, uh, you do not have the shape of the uh, pad on top and bottom but it's a round pad inside so you have a bit of copper inside so this would be okay but also think about uh, multi-layer boards then look into the inner layers and see if it's properly connected okay that's it that's the way how to design slotted holes thanks for watching enjoy